RDS minus sixes was an American nickname for the first Soviet test of a thermonuclear weapon on August 12, 1953. That detonated with a force equivalent to 400 kilotons of TNT. Scholars dispute the authenticity of RDS-6 as a thermonuclear device as it had not managed to produce a yield consistent with a true hydrogen bomb. Named after a type of layered puff pastry model in the Soviet Union. A tenfold increase in explosive power was achieved by a combination of fusion energy and neutron-initiated boosted fission. A similar design was earlier theorized by Edward Teller, but never tested in the U.S. It says the alarm clock. First test of Sakharov's bomb, when the bomb was detonated in the morning. Sakharov was 20 miles from his bomb. In his memoirs, Sagarov recalled the moment of detonation and the aftermath. We saw a flash and then a swiftly expanding white ball lit up the whole horizon. I could see a stupendous cloud trailing steamers of purple dust. The cloud turned gray, quickly separated from the ground and swirled upward, shimmering with gleams of orange. The customary mushroom cloud gradually formed, but the stem connecting it to the ground was much thicker than those shown in the photographs of fission explosions. More and more dust was sucked up at the base of the stem, spreading out swiftly. The shock wave blasted my ears and struck a sharp blow to my entire body. Then there was a prolonged, ominous rumble that slowly died away after 30 seconds or so. Within minutes, the cloud, which now filled half the sky, turned a sinister blue-black color. Joe 4. The RDS-6s was tested on August 12, 1953. The measured yield was 400 kilotons. 10% from fission of the uranium-235 core. 15 to 20% from fusion and 70 to 75% from fission of the uranium-238 layers.